Hello, my beloveds. So many women out there are flying blind when it comes to what is right or wrong or correct when having sex with a, a man for the first time, somebody that you're dating, someone that you're really, really interested in. We have a lot of false information and it just breaks my heart when I watch women make these same mistakes over and over and over again. In this video today, I want to share with you what I know are three super important tips for you. Three ideas that when you really implement into your dating experience are going to completely change what is happening in your dating experience. Many of us were not taught these things as children. In fact, I know I certainly wasn't. I made a lot of mistakes in my dating years and when it came to sexual intercourse with men and when to do it and all the things that we all do. And I'm not here to shame anybody for any experiences you've had, decisions that you have made. Shame doesn't serve anybody and shame is not allowed on this channel. I come to you as an older sister, as an auntie, or maybe a surrogate mother, someone who is here because I love you, I care about you, and I want you to have the best experience you can possibly have. There's so much pain in the world and I feel a lot of it comes from people that are continuing to do the same thing over and over again because they just don't really know what to do. So I'm hoping in this video today that I'm going to share with you all three vitally important things as women to know when you're in the dating pool and considering having sex with a partner. My name is Kristen Brown. I'm a self-love mastery and relationship healing author, mentor, and speaker. So welcome to my channel. If you're new here, I super hope that you subscribe, turn on notifications, and don't forget to like this video. The first thing I want you to know is that quality men expect to wait for sex. Let me say that again. Quality men expect to wait for sex. So when a, when a woman gives it over too soon, there's a part of that man that kind of knows that this woman really doesn't value herself. And he already starts to think, hmm, maybe she's not as great as I thought she was. We can confuse this so bad as women because he might be saying all the right things, doing all the right things, complimenting us like crazy. You're the best thing ever. I can't believe I've met you. And then we jump in the sack with them and guess what? Things can change in an instant. Yes, they're going to enjoy it. Yes, they want to have sex with you. It's also important to understand this, that men are wired to procreate. They are literally biologically wired to want to have sex with women that they find attractive because they are visually stimulated and it is to procreate the race. So yes, a man is going to want to have sex with you. And that's just a good sign that he thinks you're attractive. But that doesn't mean, however, that he's wanting to commit to you. At this stage, it's only lust. The man has not fallen in love yet. So be willing to have personal boundaries within yourself. I'm not teaching you any of this as a form of manipulation to try to get the guy because those things never work long term. We might get some short term result results with that. But it never works long term. It's just manipulation. And at the end of the day, our true self is going to come through. However, when you value yourself and you say, you know, I really value who I am. I value my divine feminine. I value my sex. I know that this is a sacred kingdom that I am going to allow the appropriate man to step into who has earned the right to be there. When you demonstrate your value to a man, he is more likely to see your value. And the second thing that I want to share that I wish somebody shared with me <laughs> is that men don't bond through sex, at least not initially. When women have sex with a man, we release a hormone called oxytocin. That oxytocin is a bonding hormone and is the same hormone that is released during childbirth which is why we bond with our baby. That hormone is released during sexual intercourse with a man. So we're going to bond with him. We're going to feel all lovey-dovey and cozy-cozy and like we want to build a house with this guy and get married and all of these things when the man has not fallen in love yet and he does not feel that way. So please be mindful not to project your bonding to him as he has bonded with you. A man bonds differently than women do. And that's a whole separate video that I won't get into right now, but he is not bonding to you simply because he had sex. Now, as a caveat, 
after a man has fallen in love with you, he has devoted himself to you, you are his woman, then sex because it becomes a bonding experience for him. But until he has fallen in love, that's not what it is. It is purely just sex. And the third thing I want to share with you is that sex is a privilege, not an obligation. Sex is not an obligation. It is never an obligation. In fact, men need to earn the right to enter your kingdom. That is your sacred space. We are actually allowing a person into our body. All right. And many times we're in relationships and people try to act like that sex is an obligation. We have to have sex with our man. I will disclaim that sex is a very healthy part of a relationship. A good sex life is an amazing experience in a relationship. However, we are not obligated to have sex with anybody who is not treating us with respect, love, honor, attention, and care. So if you are with a man who is not treating you that way and you are feeling the desire to pull back sexually from him, that is okay because what's happening is you're not feeling safe in this relationship. And remember, we are in a very vulnerable position sexually when we are allowing a person into our body, literally. So you have the right to say when that is okay and when that is not okay. However, I never ever condone or recommend using sex as manipulation. That's just not cool. That's low vibes and that is not going to contribute to a healthy relationship. But you do have the right to say yes, okay to sex and no, not okay to sex. However, I would say, don't just say no to sex. I would sit down with your man and explain why. When you treat me like blank, 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 I feel unsafe in this relationship and I don't want to have you enter my body. And then a man who loves you and who is motivated to change will start to work on himself because he's going to want to get back into that place because after a man is in love with you, sex with you is his safe space. I want to help you have the best dating experience so that you can weed out the ones that aren't for you because by the way, you will weed out a lot of not quality men when you start waiting to have sex with them. And number two, I want you to be able to have the best sexual experience for you, not just in a means of wanting to please the man because you feel like if you don't have sex with him, he's going to go find somebody else that does. Well, there's a lot of women out there that'll have sex with a man, but there's only one unique and special you. And when you honor who you are, your ideal partner is going to come in and he's going to say her. She's the one. Until next time, everybody, remember, you matter. Now go love yourself.